So let's solve problem number four on asymptotic notations. Here is the problem. Consider the following functions. Fn is 2 power n, gn is n factorial and hn is n power log n. Which of the following statements about the asymptotic behaviors of Fn, gn and hn is true? These are all the statements we need to identify which of these statements is true. Is it statement A, Fn equal to big O of gn, gn equal to big O of hn? Is it statement B, Fn equal to big omega of gn and gn equal to big O of hn? Is it statement C, gn equal to big O of fn, hn equal to big O of fn? Or is it statement D, hn equal to big O of fn and gn equal to big omega of fn? Let's try to find which statement is correct out of these statements. For this, we need to compare these functions fn, gn and hn. In order to solve this problem, let's create some space over here by removing this part of the question. Now we have some space for the solution. Let's try to solve this problem. We have fn equal to 2 power n, gn equal to n factorial and hn equal to n power log n. We can observe that fn is something to the power something and similar thing we can observe for hn as well. hn is also something to the power something. So let's compare fn and hn first. Let's see what is the relationship between fn and hn. So now we are going to compare fn and hn. fn is 2 power n and hn is n power log n. Out of these two functions, what do you think? Which one is bigger? Comparing these two functions is not that straightforward because in these two functions we can observe bases and the powers are different. It is usually easy to compare functions with same bases but different powers. For example, it is easy to compare n square and n cube. Out of n square and n cube, what do you think which one is bigger? n cube is clearly bigger than n square. Now, what about functions with same powers but different bases? For example, 2 power n and 3 power n. It is still easy to compare these functions. Out of 2 power n and 3 power n, clearly 3 power n is bigger. So, the conclusion is that if the functions have same bases or same powers, then comparing them is not that difficult. But what if we have functions with different bases and different powers? Then the comparison becomes difficult. These type of functions are what we call conflicting functions. Comparing conflicting functions is not that straightforward. In order to compare these functions, we need to apply logarithm to these two functions. After applying logarithm, we will get the simplified form of these two functions and then comparing them would be easy. So now, let's apply logarithm to fn and hn. fn is 2 power n and hn is n power log n. Let's apply log base 2 on both these functions because here we have the constant as 2. After applying log base 2 here to this function, we will get the simplified form of fn. And similarly, after applying log base 2 to this function n power log n, we will get the simplified form of hn which is n power log n. So now let's apply log base 2 on both these functions. Here we will get log 2 power n base 2 and here we will get log n power log n base 2. Now what about this function? We can apply the property of logarithm here. Log a power b base c is same as b times log a base c. So we can bring this power to the front of log 2 base 2. We will get n times log 2 base 2 here. Now what about this function log n power log n base 2? Let us assume the base of this logarithm is 2. So after applying the property of logarithm that is log a power b base c, we will get log n base 2 times log n base 2. So here we are getting log n base 2 times log n base 2. Now if we solve this, we will get n times 1 because log 2 base 2 is 1. 
so this is equal to n now what about this function here we have log n base 2 times log n base 2 log n base 2 times log n base 2 is same as log n base 2 whole square so these are the simplified forms of fn and hn fn is equal to n and hn is equal to log n base 2 whole to the power 2 now comparing these two functions is straightforward here we can observe we have the polynomial function and here we have the logarithmic function we know the growth rate of the logarithmic function is less than the growth rate of the polynomial function we learned this in one of our lectures that decrement functions have lesser growth rate than constant functions constant functions have lesser growth rate than logarithmic functions logarithmic functions have lesser growth rate than polynomial functions and polynomial functions have lesser growth rate than exponential functions so we know out of these two functions the growth rate of logarithmic function is less than the growth rate of the polynomial function therefore we can say hn is big o of fn because fn which is n is asymptotically bigger than hn which is log n base 2 whole to the power 2 so now we know hn is big o of fn let's get back to the options and let's see whether this relationship is available in the options or not we can observe in option a or in statement a we have fn equal to big o of gn and gn equal to big o of hn the relationship between fn and hn is not available in this option so let's move to option b here we have fn equal to big omega of gn and gn equal to big o of hn again there is no relationship between fn and hn let's move to option c here we have gn equal to big o of fn and hn equal to big go of fn we can observe the relationship between hn and fn here we have hn equal to big go of fn in this option hence we can consider this option now what about option d we can observe we have hn equal to big go of fn in this option as well therefore we can consider option c and option d and now out of these two options or we can say out of these two statements only one statement is correct so now let's try to find which statement is correct is it the case that gn is big o of fn or is it the case that gn equal to big omega of fn this means can we say fn is asymptotically bigger than gn or can we say fn is asymptotically smaller than gn let's find out one thing is clear from these relationships that we now need to compare fn and gn fn is 2 power n and gn is n factorial these two are exponential functions this is what we learned so now let's compare these two functions now the question is out of these two functions which one is bigger again comparing these two functions is not straightforward here we have 2 power n and here we have n factorial to compare these two functions we will put some values of n in these two functions by putting some values of n it will be clear out of these two functions which one is bigger so now let's compare fn and gn by putting values of n in these two functions let's say n is equal to 10 here we will get 10 factorial after replacing n by 10 10 factorial is equal to 3628800 this is 36 lakhs 28800 what about 2 power n n will be replaced by 10 we will get 2 power 10 which is equal to 1024 that is 1024 this value is much smaller than this value we can observe the difference between these two functions clearly by putting a single value 10 clearly n factorial is greater than 2 power n for n equal to 10 but what if we take a different value than 10 let's take 20 if we put 20 here we will get 20 factorial which is equal to 2.43 times 10 power 18 this is a very big value what about 2 power 20 2 power 20 is just 
टेन लैक्स फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी सिक्स दिस वैल्यू इज मच स्मॉलर देन दिस वैल्यू सो वी कैन सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन क्लियरली द ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ एन फैक्टोरियल इज मच लार्जर देन द ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ टू पावर एन देर फोर वी कैन से जी एन इज बिग ओमेगा ऑफ एफ एन और वी कैन से एफ एन विच इज टू पावर एन इज एसिमटोटिकली स्मॉलर देन जी एन विच इज एन फैक्टोरियल हेंस ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इट इज नॉट द केस दैट जी एन इज बिग ओ ऑफ एफ एन इट इज द केस दैट जी एन इज बिग ओ मेगा ऑफ एफ एन हेंस ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन so with this i hope it is clear how to solve these type of problems with this we are done with this problem and we are done with this presentation okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i will see you in the next one